turning now to the battle against the coronavirus. New York City and the state are making more moves to protect essential workers. Just past 11 o'clock here is where we stand right now. Mayor de Blasio confirmed that construction workers will no longer be considered essential workers. So that means a work stoppage now at construction sites until April 21st. Johns Hopkins University reports more than 23,000 confirmed cases in New York City. Again, we are waiting for Governor Cuomo to speak soon. Until then, we do want to go to News Force. Erica Byfield in the newsroom. Erica. Well, Jen, this morning, New York City's mayor said that he expects more than half of the people who live in the city here to contract coronavirus right now. A member of the NYPD's top brass is resting inside Lenox Hill Hospital after doctors diagnosed him with the virus. Sources tell News 4 that John Miller, the deputy commissioner in charge of counterterrorism, is in good spirits. It's good news, but some bad news here. Yesterday, we learned of the first death within the department. A longtime custodial assistant passed away after testing positive. Meanwhile, at Elmhurst Hospital in Queens, the epicenter of this outbreak, the New York Times and a nurse took us inside that hospital. Take a look. This is what medical professionals are dealing with on the front lines. And we have also learned that two MTA workers with the virus died on the same day. A 61-year-old Manhattanville Depot worker and a 49-year-old subway conductor. A few hours ago, the mayor predicted that millions of New Yorkers will get sick. Uh, we believe over half the people in this city will ultimately be infected. Now, again, over half. thank God, over half. Thank God for 80%, that will be very little impact in truth. For about 80%, we see this consistently. It's like having, you know, a cold or flu type dynamic and you get through it in seven to 10 days. And a lot of those people get right back to work, uh, our first responders, our healthcare workers. But for 20% of the people infected, it's gonna to be tough. And for some of them, of course, it's gonna be fatal. So again, that news this morning from the mayor. So far, 365 people have died from this virus here in New York City, and more than 23,000 have it. David, back to you. Eric.